I think the most important thing we're going to talk about is the connectivity. So let's bring this up full speed, folks. You have four different types of connectivity, and some cameras have a combination of one, two, three, or all four. But USB, we all know that that's the USB jack. That's a standard jack that we can plug into any laptop, any Chromebook. And that'll allow you to bring any PTZ camera that has USB into your Zoom, your Google Meets with no extra effort. HDMI, we know that from video. That's how we hook up our uh, video TV to our cable box or to our DirecTV satellite. That's pretty common. SDI, that's the third one over there. And I'm going to point to that one right now. That's this one right here. That's actually a serial digital interface. That's a special cable that really your IT department knows about. And if you're IT, you know it. And that's used for really long runs. One of the things I want to talk about here is USB is good for 3 to 10 feet. HDMI, 6 to 25 feet. If you can go longer than 25 feet, we do we even sell cables that go up to 100 feet. But those are very heavy-duty, expensive cables. If you're making long runs, SDI is the way to do it. SDI can go hundreds, even thousands of feet with repeaters. It's inexpensive and it may already be in place in a lot of your facilities in your district. But the other technology that's come out, we're really going to talk about it a lot in the next show, is NDI. NDI uses your existing GIGI network with cab 5e or better cabling. It allows you to take the video from a camera to a mixer, but it also allows you to see that video on any other uh, network port that's on the network with a decoder and you can also get device controls so that like when Oliver works the camera over there he's working it via NDI that same gig e cable where he's just plugging it into the existing internet allows us to pass video back but also gives me tally lights control pan tilt zoom control and it even can give me comms if I have a, an operator so NDI is a really cool technology we're going to go into that into the next show but I wanted to make sure that everyone understood the four basic methods of attaching a PTZ camera to a computer or to a video a live video streaming system thank you for watching this highlight from the video guys live webinar if you like this video or you want to learn more check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.